everyone, Darren here, and on today's episode of Watsi Academy, we are looking at the 45th installment of the Map Awareness series. Now, I know this is like the fourth one in a row, and I'm sure you all are tired of it, but again, I'm going to try and have a video explaining what the heck's going on here, probably the same day that this video goes out. Anyway, nonetheless, thank you again to Flying Egg for providing the video for this weekend, so that way you guys are not sitting and waiting. He is, once again, in the CS53, and he is actually in a top-tier matchup on Prokhorovka, the southern spawn uh, in the game mode of Standard Battle. But we all know that most of the time that what the game mode is here on Prokhorovka does not matter whatsoever because the gameplay pretty much becomes the same regardless of the mode. Um, so this this game, this replay, the reason why I've decided to use it other than the fact that I needed a replay is that this um, pretty, kind of, pretty much demonstrates that A, that Flying Egg is not, you know, super perfect. He is highly skilled at this game and he took a very bad situation um, and potentially a very bad outcome, or very likely outcome, of going back to the garage, and he managed to flip it around, and basically you will see. So, he's doing the standard Prokhorovka things of where he's just going to ride the ridge, and he's going to spot tanks, and he is going to get spot assist. As we can see right now, he has about 614 raw damage with 755 Spot assist already racked up. Well, let's make that 1018. 1088 in terms of, um, you know, spot assist. And it just keeps on going up right now. He's at 1306. He's got more spot assist than he does actual raw damage. Now, again, the usual spiel. I'm sorry that if you do happen to see um, replay stutter, um, I see it a lot. <laughs> Whenever I do these things, I'm guessing at this point it may be my program. I don't know. But, like I said, not a whole much to talk about here. He is doing Prokhorovka things. Um, you, What I want to talk about, though, is mainly the importance of having eyes on in this area, as well as, when we get to it, the t pretty much what happens of that bad situation working out in his favor. Now, I want to stress the importance of when I, of pretty much this position here on the map is the A, the, well, I'm sorry, the 1-2 line on this map are very, very important. And this is kind of one of the parts where he makes a mistake, and this is leading me into my discussion here. This is very important for both teams to have eyes on the 1-2 line, because you are not going to have any of your teammates that are sitting there on the 1-2 line expecting someone to spot the enemy on the 1-2 line. They're not going to push up and take the risk of getting blapped by however many tanks are there in the back. Or getting hit by Artie trying to push up and get eyes for themselves. So if there's not a scout over here, you're not going to see anyone move. They're going to play defensively on the one line, and they are going to just sit there and defend because they're not going to push up unless they know for certain that the 1-2 line is clear. Now this is what happened here, is that Flying Egg has taken artillery, he's pushed up, he exposed himself, and he's lost nearly all of his health. And right now, most people may have given up, most people may have just poked out once foolishly and just eaten it and got sent back to the garage, but Flying Egg here is actually choosing his positioning and the way he engages the enemy very carefully. You can see here that he's actually reversing up some slopes in order to allow him to quickly go down the slope into cover by, you know, driving forward. So, you know, again, smart moves, smart plays, and he's trying his very best to keep foliage between him and his opponent for that extra concealment. A lot of players would probably just poke out right where he is right now to try and get in shot and would get spotted and taken out. and Or even spotted and taken out before they even get a shot off. But here we are already. We are looking at almost 65, if not 6,500 damage combined. It's going to go up more here with the shot on Artie. And as we can see right now, we are 7 to 1. 
and we now know what the last tank is, and we now know how much health he is and where he's at, and it's only a matter of time. So, that, that's pretty much it. It was a very quick replay here, and we're going to see that, um, you know, Flying Egg is going to rack up a really good amount of uh, raw and uh, assisted damage combined right there, and it's going to be a pretty good game, as you're going to see in the results. Now, again, hopefully this is the last replay that I have to do, and I can get back to regularly scheduled videos. But other than that, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. But until next time, this has been Darren of Watsy Academy.